Hi everyone, my name is Ron Leite and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today we're talking about the sentiment analysis tool that's under text mining sentiment analysis. Now this is part of the intelligence suite from Alteryx, so you need a license to use this one or you can just drag and drop it to activate your trial license. Now the sentiment analysis tool is used to find negative, positive or neutral comments on Twitter comments, products reviews, YouTube comments or something like that. Here I have two datasets from Twitter one for Alteryx mentions and one for data meaning mentions. This data here I got from this website, so Twitter sentiment CSV hero app.com. Just write here what you want to search for, for example, just data. Click on search. To get the latest 100 data, you download the CSV and you can test it. Now, this website also categorizes the data already in positive, neutral or negative, but we will use the Alteryx own sentiment analysis tool to check if it's working correctly. Now back here, I just imported the data sets, so for Alteryx we have more than 100 mentions, and for data meaning I had only 17 mentions, because I had to write data meaning together, so I only get the profile mentions here. For the tool, it's very easy to, to configure it. You have the language, the algorithm. Right now, you can just use English and this Vader algorithm. Now, to understand this algorithm, just go to help here. And inside the Alteryx help, you have an explanation and also the full name, which is Valence Aware Dictionary for Sentiment Reasoning. And here you can also find some other data on the output columns, the configurations you can choose and so on. Right now I select to use the text as this field I want to find the answers to and in this option I enabled both of them. So find sentiment at sentence level can give us a better result because you to break down the data at commas or delimiters that it finds and this output configuration we will just output here if it's neutral, negative or positive based on the values from the compound sentiment score. Now, how can we read those results? Negative sentiment goes from 0 to 1, neutral sentiment 0 to 1, positive sentiment 0 to 1. If, if we add all of those results, we should have just a single one here. Compound sentiment score means that it's positive if it's higher than 0, negative if it's lesser than 0, and if we activated this one, we have to choose ranges here. So if it's lesser than minus 0.1, it's negative. If it's between the negative and positive, it's neutral. And if it's higher than 0.5, then it's positive. So we can check here if I just disable this column. Let me just use this one as an example. So this is the basic you'll be seeing just the negative, neutral, positive and the compound score. You won't see if it's negative, positive or something. You need to activate this one. And if you activate it, then the column will show. And here I just added a summarize tool that's grouping and counting the results from the sentiment category. So here we have the number of neutral and positive counts. Check that right now it's like this, but if I click here and run it again, the numbers will change. The same thing goes from this one. So right now we have something like this, the most ones, the neutral ones. If I deactivate this one and run it again, I have a little more of the negative and positive results. Now this all depends on the data you're dealing with. Right now most of this data, at least from the Alteryx side, has some very weird characters, probably from ch some Chinese or Korean characters that I'm, are not reading correctly here. And the ones from Data Meaning, at least, are all in English, so they got the exact results. And you can also change those ranges here to fit your data. Like, okay, 
I want the negative one to be minus 0 0.5 and run again actually this one doesn't have negative results let me go with this one so now we don't have any negative comments even though if you come here you see that we have some negative from the website where was it here two examples so for us they are neutral it has a negative compound score but as the range here is out of the range for negatives it's just a neutral comment so that's it for sentiment analysis in Autorex designer thank you for watching and have a great day if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos please comment down below don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted thank you for watching